Welcome everybody to this weekend's weekend energy report. Now I know I normally do one card and do this as a short, but this week I had a jumping card and then I wanted to see what the following card was and then just figured, well, I might as well do a three card spread. So that's what I did for the weekend. And this week I am using if Radley Valentine and Dougal Frazier's Angel It's an Aura's deck. And if you're not familiar with the way this deck works, this is not one of the cards. This is an example. Oh, funny that you're the one I pulled. Okay. So I have been getting this card periodically throughout the week. So it's just really funny that this is the card that came up. Spiritual Adventure. Um, so there are color indicators at the top of the card. And I really need better lighting and at the bottom of the card. And there are color affiliations in the book as well. So if you see me reach for that, it's because they shift slightly for each book or for each card rather. So I just want to make sure I'm giving you the right explanation. So the first card we drew and which was the jumping card is the power of prayer. And it says at the bottom, surrender, believe, affirm, and release. And what this card is, is that if you are feeling stuck, if you need clarity, now is the time to reach out to the divine and pray, whether it's your angels, your guides, the master, ascended masters, uh, God, goddess, whoever it is you choose to pray to, this is the time. And you can also petition Archangel Sandalphon to collect those prayers and help deliver them to God. And if you've ever watched any of Radley Valentine's videos, he explains how Archangel Sandalphon creates a wreath of prayers and lays them at the feet of the divine to be heard and answered. The color affiliations for this card are black and white. Um, the number of the card is 40. I'm just saying that in case you're looking at any angel numbers. And white is the color that of the reminder that you are always connected to source energy. The color black is helping you ground the answers to your prayers into planet Earth and your daily life. So... Black is a very grounding color, white is a divine color, and in sense they are, one is the presence of all colors, one is the absence of all colors. So it is that divine and grounding power. Our next card is one of the most well-known archangels. It is Archangel Michael, and he is often associated with the color blue. And at the bottom of the card says, wise, honest, trustworthy, and observant. And hold on, I feel like I actually need to read this because there's a lot here. Uh, is arguably the most well-known and beloved of archangels. He appears in the color sapphire blue that radiates a sense of protection and safety. His name means he who is like God and he can help you obtain clarity on your life purpose, gather insight about the people around you and their true motivations in your life. You can ask him to use his sword of light to sever any energetic connections to people, to places, to things, to concepts, past, present, future, and across all time. So that is something you can also ask him with if you feel like you are stuck or you are paralyzed by fear, if there is something holding you in place, if you have an unhealthy connection to someone or something, he can help sever that for you. Um... And blue is defined as the color of truth and wisdom. Blue energy is seen around people who are incredibly smart and often considered blunt. Blue People with blue energy are introspective and completely comfortable in their own thoughts. The depth of this energy and vibration make a person with a blue aura a seeker of soulful connections and have an aversion to, to surface chit-chat. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Because generally, if you find that you're, if you do oracle cards and you're reading out of a book and all of a sudden you find you can't read, it probably means your angels are like, you need to stop reading now and intuit. But, um, so yeah, so if you are feeling unsafe or if there is something going on in your life, you can petition Archangel Michael to help you with that. And he, you can also ask him to help you, lead you to any divine knowledge that you seek. They purposely designed the card so that Mike, St. Michael is surrounded by books and that he is always learning, always 
<laughs> always learning. He's surrounded by knowledge. The last card is self-respect and worthiness. And this one says self-worth, affirmations, independent, and motivated. And I'll read you some of the... So it says angel, leader, brilliant, confident, worthy, beautiful, loved, queen, superstar. That's what all the little the little words around the mirror are. I know I need a better light source, I believe. Or a better camera. Maybe both. <laughs> Someday. We'll get there. And the color associations with this card, I believe, are pink and purple. Yes. Okay, so pink is the color reminding you that love comes from within. So pink is often associated, the secondary color associated with the heart chakra. It's pink and green. And this is the color of self-love. And when we are truly expressing self-love, the world reflects that back to us. The energy of purple literally helps you to stand tall and be in your power. So the reason why I wanted to read those is because sometimes purple comes up with other cards. It will sometimes be paired with gold for independence. Um, purple is also the color associated with the crown chakra, so it sometimes has to do with a lot of different thoughts, um, independent thought, independent action. You'll see it paired a lot of times in this specific deck with the color gold, which is usually someone that is self-employed or is seeking a new path. So it varies very much, or not very much, but the meaning will shift subtly between the cards. So overall, for this week, or this weekend, is a lot about focusing on within. It's if you're feeling stuck or you need to focus on yourself, take time to do things with yourself, maybe with your family, but focus on that feeling of self-love, self-care, um... And if you need help, ask St. Michael. Hopefully this helps you. All right. Take care. And until we meet again, bye.